Alrighty everyone, so we have Aquaman 2 The Lost Kingdom looming just a couple of months from now, releasing in theaters, and Warner Brothers is dealing with a lot of baggage with this film, not just because of what's been happening with Amber Heard and the ongoing drama behind the scenes with that, and we have a lot to discuss today by the way, but also the test screening for Aquaman 2, the most recent one was a massive failure to the point where our screeners were walking out, there was a lot of negative reception, it just was a big mess. Now one thing about Amber Heard, now we know that her role was drastically reduced, but there's one specific development that actually caused her to have a lot of growing issues with WB, as well as director James Wan and writer David McGoldrick, and how this relates to a specific scene that was actually deleted and cut out that really sent basically Amber Heard into a downward spiral behind closed doors. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. And let's get into exactly what's happening here. So again, like I say, there have been discussions over at WB about the possibility of canceling this movie outright, or at least not releasing it in theaters and just throwing it on, you know, straight to video, which I wouldn't be surprised that they make that ultimate decision, but they most likely, from what it seems, are still on track to releasing this thing in theaters. And the trailer, in my opinion, it was not good. It wasn't good at all. It was too crowded in many shots. I don't even know what I was looking at, and it just felt flat. The spear of Aquaman is not there for me, and there's a lot of things missing. But anyway, this is where matters get even worse for WB, with Amber Heard getting ready to make her debut in this controversial installment for the Aquaman franchise. One major development has to do with how Amber Heard had many issues with director James Wan, as it turns out, for cutting out a crucial scene for the third act of the film that was drastically changed for several reasons. James Wan reportedly cut out an entire scene revolving around Mira that contained a scene in which Amber Heard gives Jason Momoa's Aquaman slash Arthur a complete talk down after he tries to lead a specific mission in one of the sequences with the help of his brother Orm. Now, the scene that was cut was described to be in full girl boss fashion and was written by David McGoldrick that James Wan insisted to him to cut out entirely, something that reportedly really angered Amber Heard behind the scenes just recently as it was just finalized to the point where the drama spread everywhere behind the scenes at Warner Brothers. The specifics of the scene involved Mira giving Aquaman orders and even making rude jokes to him on how he is not fit to be a leader. It's something that David McGoldrick was told to shoehorn into the film by Warner Brothers earlier on, to give Heard's character an edge and sassy attitude, so to speak, in the later half of the film. James Wan had growing issues with this scene and insisted to Dave to cut it out entirely. This happened some months after the trial with Johnny Depp, but was not finalized until just recently this month after the recent test screening went sour that got pure negative feedback. Now guys, let me just stop here before we get to the next big piece of this development. Now, I always like to say this. People out there like Amber Heard, Rachel Zegler, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, Brie Larson, if you look at a franchise called The Expendables, I think that they deserve a franchise called The Insufferables, all right? Hashtag The Insufferables, throw it around out there if you would like to. What's interesting about this is the fact that James Wan stood up for himself and he literally convinced David McGoldrick to cut out this nonsense scene that really served nothing to the story and was just nothing more than girl boss fashion. And you know what? I have to actually commend James Wan for doing something right, at least with this movie behind the scenes. Now, like I said before, this was not finalized until just recently, due in part to the failed test screening. And a lot of it had to do with this Amber Heard segment. Now, we know that James Wan was m openly clear. The first film was a romance, but this film by him was fully intended to be like this bromance. Of course, he's like doing that in a joking matter. So basically, this movie is about the brothers bonding. All right, both Arthur and Orm bonding. And you know what? I will agree. I mean, it is an interesting dynamic. You know, you have them as 
rivals in the first film, then you have them as allies in the second. It's an interesting format. I will agree, but the trailer did nothing for me. I don't know about you, CGI was awful, dialogue was pretty bad, and just everything seemed too crowded in some shots where I was like, what am I looking at? This feels like an overcrowded video game in some areas. But anyway, uh, this is where matters get even worse for Warner Brothers, all right? And this is gonna be a stinker because we know that this movie's not gonna make any money at all. And a lot of it does have to do with Amber Heard. Now, Amber Heard took this as offensive to herself as an actress and as a person and felt that this was actually fully intended because of the Johnny Depp trial, since it was reportedly her biggest scene for the third act of the film in which she leads Aquaman and Orm. The scene focused on her grabbing the staff, or the trident if you will, momentarily and snatching it from Aquaman and leading the way into a deep chasm, where some reason she locks Aquaman and Orm in some kind of a cave. It had something to do with protecting the trident and how she felt that she would be the best fit to protect it instead of Arthur. In this moment, Juan just recently got approval from WB to cut out this girl bossy scene and now Heard's role in the film is said to be very minimal in all acts and why she is barely in the trailer and how it was fully intended also by WB to barely insert her into the trailer to revert from backlash. Again, we always have to remember that trailers are meant to deceive and meant to distract you from what the actual product is going to be like, either for better or worse, right? So, in Aquaman 2, the trailer, they could have put a lot more Amber Heard in there. They obviously decided not to, and that's a fact. She's not in this movie all that much. Uh, there's been a lot of talk out there that she's in it for like roughly maybe 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes at most. Uh, that may very well be why. Also, they're not putting as many scenes into the actual trailer or clips, if you will. But there's a lot going on with this film. We know that James Wan is trying to kind of revert away from the whole Amber Heard drama, saying why her role was cut down, was that she was always intended to have a smaller role in this film. He doesn't really comment too much on the whole Johnny Depp drama situation, right? And so that's why a lot of studios blacklisted her. They want nothing to do with Amber Heard. Her career is over. It's not gonna make a rebound. She's not gonna make a comeback. She may very well be in other things, but she's not gonna be in Hollywood movies. And that's the overall scenario right now. So I think at the end of the day, this movie has two scenarios happening for it. Either WB is gonna outright cancel this from ever appearing in theaters, and it's gonna go direct to video, and they'll call it a day from there, you know, accept the loss. Or they are gonna release this thing in December, and it is gonna be one of the worst failures by WB in a very long time. Quite possibly the worst DC movie ever in existence. We'll have to wait and see about that. But overall, guys, I would love to hear your take on this below in the comments about this girl bossy scene that was cut and how Amber Heard felt it was very offensive as an actress to her. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys next time.